That's no snake. That's a pig right there. And it's everyone's favorite pig. Misery box. Oh, no. R slash reddit stories. Oh, wait. Uh, R slash reddit. Oh, sorry. R slash. Well, nope. New update. Back to misery box. Man, all these changes are catching me off guard. Although, seriously, today's video is about Misery Box and what he's done to garner so much hate. I've seen a few people still defending him, and once you guys learn his full history, I think he'll lose a few more subs. His antics go way past a few harmless jokes. This man is full on crazy. Now, into the timeline of Misery Box, previously known as Jimmernom. August 3rd, 2018. Jimmernom is sued for $5 million by TMZ. Not much on him could be found before this point. Sometime in August, it is speculated that this is the time that he started having a drinking problem as he started appearing on streams with slurred words and irritable attitudes. He also said that he was countersuing TMZ for defamation. October 12, 2018, Teespring store gets shut down for stealing people's artwork. October 29th, 2018. His channel is deleted and most other social medias are deleted. It is speculated that his channel was terminated for copyright reasons, as his Twitter states that he was being sued by TMZ for $5 million, as mentioned previously. So, you can say that what he was doing was quite serious. He was stealing basketball articles and reading them out loud, illegally. Reddit doesn't care if you're reading their articles. It's a form. But news? In the dying medium that is magazines and news columns, they need every penny they can get and can't afford for someone to be stealing their articles. October 29th, 2018. He creates the Misery Box channel the same day that his other channel was terminated. The creation of this YouTube channel directly violates YouTube's Terms of Service TOS, for ban evasion. Briefly rejoins YouTube as Jimmerman to call in Wasted to a live stream. December 13th, 2018. Passes 1k subs on Misery Box. This is enough for a channel to get monetized. Issue being that he would get found out and terminated for ban evasion if he used his own name. So, it is speculated that he is using someone else's name and having them funnel him the money in order to not get his channel terminated for ban evasion. Which, considering that he used to dox people, doxing is the act of publishing someone's private information with malicious intent, it is not a far stretch to imagine that he is using someone else's name to get the money. And to anyone who thinks, so what if a few people on the internet know my name? I have to say this. So what if a few people on the internet know your full name? Where you sleep each night, your personal messages with your friends, what you look like, your phone number, where your mom lives, and any other number of things that you don't want people to know. February 2nd, 2019. His Mystery Box channel passes 10k subscribers. February 14th, 2019. Say and Z Entertainment reveals on YouTube that Misery Box is Jim or Nom. February 23rd, 2019. Passes 100k on Misery Box. Normally, this would grant the YouTuber a silver play button. However, since he had to hide his identity, YouTube said that he was ineligible to receive it. As Illuminati pointed out in her video, he casually explained this away on Discord servers by saying that just YouTube was being weird. April 1st, 2019. Misery Box makes an April Fool's video and sends over 3,000 people to his Discord server. His moderators were woefully unprepared as he had only warned them an hour previously, not giving them enough time to stop what they were doing in real life and get their computers to moderate his server. Discord moderators are rarely paid for the work and are rarely credited in YouTube videos because they moderate the Discord servers and not directly the YouTube channels themselves. This is when Misery Box started to disrespect his hardworking moderators. April 9th or 10th. On either April 9th or 10th of r slash message r slash Mr. Reddit, confronting him about his use of r slash spelled out. It is my understanding that this was done peacefully and Mr. Reddit blew it out of proportion. From listening to the Discord conversation between Misery Box and Fresh, I gathered that Mr. Reddit was a channel set up by someone with two other YouTube channels both over 100k. Anyways, Misery Box caught the wind of this and decided to make an r slash exposed video 
saying how he was bullying smaller creators, and in my talks with other Reddit YouTubers, we have speculated that he did this to appeal to smaller creators. April 11th, 2019, Misery Box sends his moderators into other YouTubers' Discord servers to warn them that everything was about to get shaken up with his legendary r slash exposed video. Later in that day, Misery Box made a Discord call with Fresh and Illuminati. Two of his Discord moderators were also in the call. This conversation started by Fresh and Misery discussing the situation of Mr. Reddit's name. And Correct. literally taking his, his algorithm recommendations. If you search just r slash uh, RSLASH on YouTube right now, you will see multiple recommendations for r slash Mr. Reddit. Even though Correct. you're almost certainly searching for the much larger, much more popular channel r slash that is likely getting more views per hour than this channel has in its entirety. This is where it was brought up that the Mr. Reddit channel was run by someone with over 200k subs on two separate channels. It's not concerning because r slash uh, doesn't own r slash, right? I mean, Reddit owns r slash, if you think about uh, it. Here's the thing. Reddit owns r slash. Correct. It's debatable whether or not Reddit owns spelled out r slash. It's no, not debatable. Do. No, that's... No, here's the thing. YouTube... The way that the algorithm is set up, r slash, whether you spell it out or not, they count it as r slash. So if you put r slash in there, it's the same as r slash That's where you true, spell Blair. it out. Need you hear with those analytics? We were looking, believe me, we were looking at r slash's analytics during his meteoric rise. His search results were not gaining particularly more traction because of his name than anyone else. After that, it is brought up that r slash targeted Mr. Reddit and none of the other people using his name. This is the only point where Fresh crosses the line, as Fresh said, that my friend, Crazy Aussie Man's channel, which at the time was called r slash Reddit, was dead, and nobody respects anybody on the r slash Reddit readers discord server, you hear me Fresh? Anyways, Misery Box showed that the channel is not dead, but that's water under the bridge. Halfway through the conversation, they got onto the subject of what kinds of things people can own. Misery Box then mentions how Lee Ham was using his rainbow border, and the next clip speaks volumes about his character. Like Lee Ham uh, copied all of my thumbnails. Yeah, I, I did go out there. Pretty funny. Yeah, I didn't go out there and bitch about him. I mean, he was in my Discord server, and he was a mod, right? H uh, Hattie and uh, Rude Doc. He was a mod, and and wow, then he. I didn't know that. He just took my, uh, you know, rainbow border, which was, I mean, that's fine, whatever. I didn't bitch to him and say, it irritates the fuck out of me, man. It annoys the shit out of me. I want to kill Lee him. Yeah, I mean, so, like, the whole thing with Misery Box, like, the dude, he's not, like, he's an alright dude, but, I mean, like, I was a mod on his server and shit, but... It wasn't him that, like, attacked me, it was more his mods. Like, yeah, I use a rainbow border thing, okay. Yeah, that's cool. Well, the thing is, like, I had the rainbow text in my literal name and logo and everything way before he had anything like that. And honestly, do I care? No. I'm gonna keep using it if I want to, because honestly, why not? I like it. Like, if you wanna go bitch about it, so be it, okay? Because I'm too busy playing Minecraft or something. Why would I care? But, like, other than that, like, no, my channel isn't dead. Just because I have a shitty laptop and a shitty mic doesn't mean I'm dead. Because I don't want to sound cocky or anything, but honestly, your personality is cheeks. The one thing if you want to have <laughs> when you're being successful in this is you want to have a good personality. And that, my friend, is something you don't have. I'm doing my thing and you're doing yours, alright? All the success for you, all that ever you want, I don't really care. And you did yours and now you see how it turned out, so... I think that sums up that portion of the Discord call. After this, Fresh was just trying to get one of his questions answered, and Misery Box was dodging it. Eventually, Misery Box's moderators started agreeing with Fresh and not Misery. Misery saw this and answered the question without actually answering what Fresh was meaning. So let's go ahead not and share that said. video, and let's go ahead and see. See you unpartner yourself. I said money is not the only motivation. Oh, only motivate. Oh, really? Why are you so hesitant of uh, unpartnering yourself all of a sudden? Because I like making money. I need to make Good money to survive. You. Exactly, boy. After Misery curses out Fresh, he leaves the Discord call, and Misery continues to curse about Fresh to his moderators. 
How Misery handled the situation was childish and immature. For him asking Fresh if he was 13, Misery sh acted like a four-year-old when he doesn't get a toy. April 12th, 2019, 1.33 a.m. One of the mods posted the recordings of the audio clips and the links spread like wildfire. Arriving to me only 16 and a half hours later, the moderators of Misery Box servers were angry at the rampant bannings of other moderators. Nobody really gets to see behind the scenes, but everyone was talking about this drama, what was going to happen, how sub counts would change, Misery Box's potential reaction, and other things. There's a lot more connections than the viewers get to see. April 13th, 2019. Illuminati is acting strange on Twitter. Hinting towards her knowledge of someone about to release the video on the drug. She releases the video. Two hours later, I start my live stream of his sub count. It's not looking good for him. Misery Box's sub count immediately started to drop. In fact, he lost over 600 subscribers in one hour. Just three hours after releasing Illuminati's video, Misery Box goes into full containment mode. He made his sub count not visible at first, then comments, then removed his banner then likes and dislikes, then his name, then all community posts disappear. Finally, he removes his icon. Misery Box was dismantling his channel in front of my very eyes. Not even making a response video, just continuing on with uploads. Just something was missing. His views. He lost over two thirds of all his views. And these views were already dwindling. Misery Box is over. Unknown dates. It is unknown when he backstabbed most of his friends when he had the Jimmer Nom channel. It is also unknown when he made a racist and homophobic comments as the re-uploads of the streams do not have dates of recording on them. Why this all matters to you, the viewer. By doing your part in avoiding your content, you can help remove this man from YouTube. He does things for attention and money. Jimmer's probably watching this, he's probably watching Hadzi's stream, he's still... <laughs> Dude, this is some inception. Do you think he's watching this and watching Hansi stream? I don't think Jimmer can be. Ever... Oh, he's oh, so fucking oh. egotistical. Of course, he's listening for his name to be met. Misery had his second chance. YouTube didn't want him to, but he took it anyways. His content was fine. I watched it myself for a little while, but that was while he was separating his personality from his videos. When the two met and he went off with Fresh, his cover was blown and the two got mixed. He corrupted his online presence by letting his nasty personality mix with his videos. A good person doesn't backstab all their friends. A good person doesn't make others live in fear of what he can do to them. This video was made to cover the holes that were in Illuminati's and Ustars videos, so I highly recommend watching their video to get the other side of the puzzle pieces. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll have some timestamps and the audio recordings down in the description, so check those out if you're interested in wasting two hours of your life by listening to a Discord call. But yeah, other than that, I'd just like to give a special thanks to r slash for actually replying to my Twitter DM on clarifying the date, and thanks to Lee Ham for sending me the audio recording to use, and bye.